air plate here, our cabinet cooling device to uh, exhaust it. So we'll, we'll start with this one first. So you can see AC Infinity box is pretty simple. No reason for fancy logos because they don't need to charge you for that. You got the air plate T-series. So it's a wall mounted fan, um, wall fan system. This one's the air plate T7. They also make other versions with a, a single fan uh, as well as two individual fans, which you may have seen in some other uh, photos of projects. We actually use those to cool PoE switches and in wall cabinets. What we have here is air plate T7. So we'll go through and I'll open this up for you. Edit that. So you can see AC Infinity. They do a couple nice things on their boxing. It's a plain box, but you can see everything's individual. What they do is they do some foam padding up here. So all your devices here are uh, nice. They're not getting scratched. And we'll do an additional video uh, with this thing powered up um, or we'll edit into this video most likely. But you've got uh, two exhaust fans. These are uh, field serviceable. So you can actually make these as um, two way or one way. You can have them exhaust or uh, you can have them as an intake. Um, I have not confirmed, but I also believe you can make them as ex one side exhaust, one side intake to create a, a, you know, a function in there flowing through air. And a uh, nice digital display, which uh, I actually have a digital display for another area of the demo room that we're using. So give this thing open. You see how nice the products are. So you've got a real heavy duty, not a paper template, but a clear template that's solid. You see the fans on it and uh, power. So this one here has two USB inlets. So you've got one there, one there. Pull that to the side. Again, everything's boxed real nice. If you pull this out, We've got in here some zip ties, some screws to mount it. Um, screws are actually pretty good. They don't mar up too bad or do anything weird like some of these cheap manufacturers. These are nice. So pull this out and chuck it to the side. Standard wall wart power supply, power plug. So a temperature probe. So obviously you don't want this under, you want this on top to control the temperature. And then additional set of screws. Of course your manual. All really nice packed. I mean, it's not quite Apple packing, but it's nice. And then we have our unit here, again, template. It's a nice heavy duty template. So you have the AC Infinity cabinet fan. And then on the back of it, go back in here and close into it. So you basically have your sensor, which I talked about, and then you have your two fans. And again, I'm now that I'm looking at this, I'm 90% sure you can switch those fans. This one is intake, one exhaust, or you can have both exhaust or both intake, depending how you're gonna do it. And of course you have power plug and this controller can be bought separate for other devices. You can, so AC Infinity is kind of a field uh, configurable system. You can use this to control various of their USB fans. They have little micro fans that stick on cabinets. If you got a direct TV or cable box that's overheating, you can just set this little tiny guy on top of there um, and build this into the cabinet. They also make this stuff so it's all hidden. You don't have to buy the fancy display. Okay, let's jump into the AirPlate T7. Easiest way is just to open the page here, go over the website. So 17 reviews, $70 part. So most of the stuff we're doing at Theater Design Company, this is actually about what you would pay. You wouldn't have to pay shipping. Um, we actually deliver it. If it's uh, over $100 on our local Northwest, we'll, uh, we'll deliver this package out to you. So basically you got AirPlate T7, which is part of this video. You have some images here. So I'm just going to scroll through these. So jumping back to this, so you got ultra quiet fan, you got automated programming, self-adjust, LC display with alarm. The alarm is important for our application. We're using this for a projector, so that's important. Um, display locks, fan speeds, buffer options, memory, etc., etc. Uh, you got fan and controller contain CNC face, which we've kind of shown how they protect that with their uh, foam on the top of the box. Some dimensions, noise only 19 dBA. So and again, in our case, we have a projector that's going to be about 29 dB. So zero issue, we won't even hear this. Uh, you can change that from a black to white, which is nice. And some additional specs down here. So you've got the same stuff we talked about. Applications are really endless, especially for a custom integrator like us. We can make things happen. And technical specs. I'll go slow on this so you guys need any measurements or anything for a project. Mounting template is nice, the PDF.
and the reviews are pretty much stellar. I don't even know why this guy would leave a four star. He probably didn't know what he was buying, to be honest. Because uh, they're just freaking awesome. Let's find this four star review real quick. Interesting. I'm not even finding the four star review. There it is. So this review is actually for a different product because you can see that we're buying the dual fan, but he's mentioning he's got one at the bottom and one at the top. So, so switch direction of the fan, so a bit noisier. That might make sense if you switch the fan direction. Uh, but overall, he's happy. So I mean, literally 17 five-star reviews. Um, I would. This guy just had an issue here, maybe some air running through the fans. But uh, anyway, he still left a four-star. Didn't seem like he was the most pleased um, with the whole setup. So. Looks like I'm not going to open up the pitcher. But anyway, this is the T7.